All right, everybody. Good evening. Um, if you've watched the other videos leading up to this, you will know this is my second attempt um, at my actual challenge. Um, and kind of it's really my third because the first one I had to like do a parrot rescue. It was very dramatic. Um, and no parents were harmed in that filming. I'm sorry, I'm walking away to get a container. Um, anyway, so I had to remake the soap and that one turned out cute. I like it actually here. Hold on, I'll show you. see look they're really cute aren't they cute anyway the only problem is after i poured it and i cut them i realized my parrots looked kind of weird floating in space parrots in space look weird so i put them all on branches and then i decided i was bored of making macaws so i tried to make some other ones so this is a lead betters i hope i'm saying that right cockatoo um and this is just a regular sulfur crusted cockatoo yes i know their wings don't really have blue i needed something to show off the wings and then we have a blue and gold macaw, a little bit of green on the top, and then our red macaws. Um, so same colors as before. Um, and we go ahead and get our fragrance poured. And we'll start making some soap. Give me one second. Okay, got our fragrance. Is this even? Please be even. Like scoot you over a little bit more. Does that work? All right, sorry. You guys probably want to receive that. Anyway, so... We're gonna get our oils blended and then we'll do the same thing we did before, which is basically put them into our little um, squeezy bottles. How warm are you? You should be nice and cool. You are nice and cool. All right, sweet, we're ready to go. So this video probably won't be a whole bunch of talking. Um, this technique gets kind of tedious once you get past the initial you know, mixing part, even this part, I think is kind of tedious, but every time I try to go to just music videos, uh, you guys revolt and tell me that you miss me talking, which I'm not really sure why, but I'm grateful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for wanting to hear me talk. Um, I, hold on, let's blow the back. Whoa, hi, why are you so heavy? That's very, <coughs> stick wonder stresses me out. I think it's too strong. I ordered some more of my regular ones to be here soon, my Cuisinarts. The stick wonder is not coming to play. It is like, it is on like little, little look how low that is. And it's still like, I don't know. It's not joking around. That's for sure. much stick blending as I'm doing. Anyway, so um, I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about how I made these birds. Um, I did film the macaws for the Cheeky Charm Club, the Gertie and uh, all the other levels, I'll have access to that. Um, and I filmed, I think I filmed these guys too, I have to look. Um, but I didn't film this one because it's the same as that one. So it's like, why would I film that again? It's the same thing. So let's get our fragrance oil mixed. Our lovely, delightful fragrance oil that is my absolute favorite ever. And it also deaccelerates trace, which is also fantastic. Okay. All right, we're getting everything measured out again. And I, last time I wanted more black, but this time because the beaks on my birds are darker i'm not going to go for as much black i'm going to try to go actually even across the board for everybody so i will just take my little measuring cups one two three four five six why do i have six what was i doing i don't know thought i had more colors i guess am i missing a color did i do another color i just don't remember remember i can remember i guess not all right what else at this point, I'm definitely not doing this another time because these birds take a minute to make. I mean, I got home a little early from work, like maybe, I don't know, I was actually home by like four-ish maybe. And did my chores and hung out with my kid a little bit and 
And then basically all I did was make birds and talk to my sister on the phone. And um, yeah, so it's now, what time is it right now? I think it's close to midnight. So, and I had to wait for, you know, the birds to get set up. I use cocoa butter, cocoa butter. I don't know, I always say that word wrong. Um, to set up, um, to hold the birds in place. And, you know, so I got all them made and then I went and got the uh, actual soap measured out. Cause this isn't my normal recipe that I use all the time. This is a fluid recipe that I designed specifically to make swirls. Um, that was its whole point, which is great. It does exactly what it's supposed to, it swirls. Um, but it's not what I have in my big, big old soap cauldron. All right, who still has too much? You have a little too much. Okay, is that everybody? Are we about, are we about what we should be? Yeah, close enough. I can wipe up the soap that I spilled all over my counter doing this. Anyway, um, the birds are all freehand. I didn't really use any discs or extruder discs except for um, the beaks. I used that like half moon looking half circle extruder disc thingamajigger. I hope that makes sense. Um, mostly just because it already gives a nice rounded shape and like why work harder if I can just, you know, use the thing that's already made. Um, so, and I think that was it for most of them. Um, and I think I used an extruder to get like some of the lines in this, in the uh, Ledbetter one. But besides that, it's it's all just, you know, I, I kind of wing it, um, which I don't necessarily recommend because you can see the pink one is way bigger than the other guys because, you know, I just winged it. Um, but I like that they're all sitting on little branches now. I feel like that looks much more cohesive. And yes, this is a column pour and that's the point of the challenge, but like, let's be real. Like I, I, I love, the challenge club because it forces me to do things and I think <laughs> I probably kind of annoy Amy and the other bubble support members because I don't mean to but I feel like sometimes I set out to like what's the rules of the challenge oh okay that's what we're supposed to do well can I do this what about this what about this what about that I'm like always trying to find a different little and it's not because I, I want to be obnoxious it's just I want to try something a little bit different I want to see if this works or I have an idea and I, I don't know. It's not on purpose. I swear I don't torture Amy for fun or Lisa. I, maybe I take torture Lisa for fun. I'll, I'll take that one actually. Cause I love Lisa. Hi Lisa. Um, Lisa gets to bear the brunt of my ridiculous doodles that I send her. Um, anyway, so I know this challenge is a column poor challenge. It's the point of it. Um, but I just wanted I don't know, I, I don't like the way a column, a regular column pour looks. I think it's like, yes, I know we're allowed to like swirl the middle of it. And I've seen a couple really beautiful ones already. Um, and I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she did these gorgeous lily pads. And like, it is the epitome of what I think a challenge like this should have. It's, it's a column pour. And then she did this really delicate little flowers in the middle. They're really pretty. Um, I'm not that delicate of a soap maker. I just, I wish I was, but I'm not. That's not my skill. I'm more of a bold and loud and vibrant and noisy soap maker. And I'm okay with that. I really like that. And apparently you guys too, or you wouldn't be sitting here watching me make this mess. Um, so, you know, for me, this challenge, I didn't like that middle weird bit. I wanted it to be focused on something. So I made it on my little birdie birds. And I love my birdie birds. I think they're very, very cute. Um, so hopefully you like them too. And like I said, I will have for my Cheeky Charm people, there will be the tutorial up for all of the three birds. Like I said, the blue and green or the blue and gold macaw is, is basically the red macaw, just with a less complicated wing. It's not, not hard. Um, and I wish I had a 3D printer. I, uh, I'm very lucky that I have Lisa and Lisa is very tolerant of me <laughs> messaging her in like the middle of the night. I'll be like, cactus butterfly horseshoe. 
and she'll message me and she'll be like, are you okay? And I'm like, yes, those are my ideas as I'm falling to sleep. And they have nothing to do with each other. But I know if I don't tell her right then and there that I'm going to forget by the morning until like a couple days later. And I'm like, oh, damn it. I really, I wanted the cactus or whatever it is. Like just, you know, put any, oh, I don't know where it cut off. Anyway, I was just saying I don't have a 3D printer and I have to rely on the generosity of my friends to um, to make them. So I end up doing a lot of these designs by hand because I don't have a 3D printer. And um, so I just kind of have to wing it and that's okay. And I'm, I'm totally fine with having to wing it, but it does make it a little bit harder for me to explain or show people how I did something because um, I can't give you my brain that says... I don't know, this is what a beak looks like and this is how we should do it. Like it's, I don't know, that, that's what a beak looks like to me. And it's not anything special or weird. It's just my brain, but I can't, I can't easily monetize that, I guess is what I'm trying to say to make it paddable for everybody to do. Um, so I, I apologize for that, but um, I will show you. And I, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, like the polymer clay artists, like I wish, I wish soap dough behaved like polymer clay. It does not, not even a little. Um, I take that back. When you blend it and run it through a uh, hujiwachi, like one of those little squish it down and put it together things, it will do a nice blend like that. I've done some stuff with that, but that's about it. The rest of it, mm -mm. not even remotely. It won't squish, it won't do anything you want. It does whatever it wants to do. All right, so now we've got everybody here. I am going to start with the black just to kind of help outline everybody and get in those feathers. Really, really good. Because that's the thing that worries me a little bit is the feathers for those guys. These guys I'm not as stressed about it. Really the tail back here is really the only spot where it may not be as um, easy to get through but these these guys I am making sure we have soap all the way through okay. remind me of this when I get towards the end and I'm like why don't I have enough black uh girl because you poured a bunch of it in the very beginning all right everybody covered all right good I'm gonna pause there real quick and put on my music and I'll be back